Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be creating the battery box. Now for this, I've got myself some cardboard to draw the outline of. And Sharpie. And I'm hoping to fit it just in here. I've got a battery on order now. Um, I have got the measurements and it should fit in the cowl just in the corner there so that hopefully the height where the battery is going to sit will not go above that um, I'm contemplating making the battery box go from the very end but also travel so it's along here meeting up with the tank having all that the sides filled in so then I can hide the electric just all in there. Um, I don't really want to go any lower than the actual frame because I know you can get, you know, there's boxes out there that do fall lower and even in here I kind of want to make it as slim as possible. So with that being said, let's crack on. So now that we've made our marking, all we have to do now is find the depth of the frame, add it onto this because this bit is going to be tucked down like a box, you know, connecting up. So let's measure that. in so it's a dish to hold the battery because I've got the frame so I can afford to actually gain a little bit more with the box the depth because it'll be hidden by the frame so let's cut this out mark it up on the aluminium I've got just there
cardboard is not easy to cut. Um, give the video a like if you're enjoying what you've seen so far, me failing at cutting cardboard. Uh, subscribe to. And so yeah, here we go. That is going to be templated onto the aluminium. Get a rough shape. God, I'm bloody knackered. On to the next one. So that didn't work, the table just kept moving, the clamps weren't holding it in, so I'm going to try it on a vice. Don't know how good this will be, but it's the next step, see you in a bit. So what we're left with now, it's a hideous shape, needs just, what's the word like, trimming down, filing, get it nice and neat, and uh, that, this stuff was not easy to cut as you've seen the techniques we've had, I've had to do. Um, once I got it down to roughly this size, I was able to just get it on the vise with the angle grinder and that was a lot easier. Um, so yeah, let's neaten this bad boy up. just died on me, battery ran out, um, didn't realise until well after filming. So from where we last set off I was cutting the battery box out and I'm going to show you the finished product. Now as I said earlier I was using some scrap aluminium um, 
wasn't too happy with the result. As you see, here it is. It far too thick for me to cut properly. Doesn't bend fully. It just looks a mess. As I say, I was trying to be cheap and just recycle some scrap aluminium, which at the time I thought I was doing the right thing. But after filming, I just I thought I'm not happy with that. It just does not look great. <coughs> it only just fits in the bike as well. It would still need fabricating. It still need knocking into certain places. So I thought I'll try something completely different. So several days later, I went and bought some steel, some one mil thickness and instead of creating a box I decided just to create a battery shelf so I'll show you that now so here we have the shelf this is all going to get neatened up this is where it's sitting so far I haven't finished putting in the tappets for here yet As you can see, it started going around. The reason I went for tappets and not weld is just because of the thickness of the steel. Using the MIG welder, it would just probably burn straight through it. This is a neater job as well, um, and it's one I can actually undo just by drawing through. See, it goes straight. So that's going to be pushed up right against, drilling into here, and the plan is to have the electrics run across, come up here, leave this gap here, maybe put a mesh wire in, just to allow the air to keep the electrical components which will be here, and the battery fitting on there, which it does, and it fits underneath the cowl as well, it's a bit of a perfect fit. Um, I have just cut out a metal sheet for here, <coughs> but that's going to be going underneath, but as at the moment I've still got the wires all that are getting in the way, that's going to go right underneath. Allow me to drill the holes for the seat underneath it. Noticing creating that way. So the wires will actually run along it and all in there. So that's it for today's build. Next episode I'm going to be taking the engine out. I'm going to be taking the front off. And then I'm going to start cutting away all the brackets that I no longer need. Um, so if you like what you've seen so far, hit the subscribe button. If you could like the video as well, that would be great. Yeah. See you on the next one.